and just like that everybody oh engine lights off I even uh, prove it ain't clear nothing even idling better. See that that was the code but engine light is off. Pending nothing, and then we can go to live data. Now let's see. O2 bank one sensor two. To me, it looks like it's within threshold. You got sensor one, 6.65, 6 all the way up to 705, and then 760. So, if that's off, and it's still uh, on here because it's in the stored should be in clear and that's why I don't unplug my battery or do any of that because what I do is if I got change or work on anything on a vehicle sensor wise I don't clear the computer, I don't unplug the battery. Cause if I can change the part in question <clears throat> and then plug it in, do what I gotta do, then to me, clearing the computer, you don't know if that part was good, bad, just like crank position sensors or in this case an O2 sensor. I leave all that hooked up change the part and then if the engine light goes on then that is guaranteed to be the problem that's my philosophy if you unplug the battery or clear the computer then you got to do the dry cycle and all and then you what if that engine light comes back on then you just wasted money where if you go and get the new part plug it in and then if the engine light goes off if just going up and down the road and that doesn't go off then it, you, there's something else that's underlying that could be the problem that's my philosophy on it if you agree hit that like button leave a comment it's like tr saying truth or if you disagree just put in a comment say it's like hey I don't agree with that, you're just wasting time or something, just let me know your thoughts on it. This is Dom, Dominic, also known as Lazy Dom's Garage on YouTube, go over there, hit subscribe, like my videos, and eventually I might even have some uh, merchandise available. I'm working on that next. Peace out everybody, stay safe, God bless.